Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Um, today I want to help you tell what to look out for when you're looking to buy real Gucci sunglasses. Um, recently, the the people who make replicas have gotten really good at doing their jobs, making the replica sunglasses look like the authentic sunglasses. So I want to give you about um, five things to look out for when you're looking to spot a fake versus an authentic Gucci sunglasses. And um, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I want to um, pump out more content. I'll be doing one for Louis Vuitton, Versace, Tom Ford, and you know, I, I gotta say guys, the replicas are getting very, very close to the authentic. They are, if you don't have the replicas, and the authentic with you side by side, it will be very hard to tell. So first off, I'm gonna start off by saying, give give you guys um a little quiz. Judging by this, you can pause the video. Which do you think is authentic, and which do you think is a replica? Just gonna give you a quick, quick glance of the both of them, so you can see. Which do you think is authentic and which do you think is a replica? These are two of the same models. Very close. Very, very close, guys. Very close. Which do you think is the authentic? Which do you think is the um, replica? Well, if you guess that the left was the authentic, thumbs up. This is the first thing to look out for when you're trying to um, <clears throat> discern the differences. The first point I'll give you is the lens. The lens is white. As you can see in the replica, the Gucci is on the top right hand corner, right? And it's a straight print, straight print of Gucci. On the authentic pair, you can see the Gucci is on the the Gucci is on the right top top left hand side, sorry. And it's a little bit curved and spaced out. See how the the replicas have the Gucci and this is the authentic. The Gucci All right, that's the first pointer. Second pointer is right here. I don't know what these are called. I think they're called the eyelets. But as you can see, this says Gucci on the replicas. Right? These are the authentic pair. They have the Gucci emblem on the eyelets, on both. It's just the Gucci. Next thing I want to show you is the right, the right side of the of the glass handles. As you can see on the replica, it has the model number on the right side, and then it has the country of manufacture on the left side. The authentic pairs always have the Gucci um, writing and the country of manufacture on the right hand side. On the right hand side, very important. Control manufacturer is always on the right hand side, right? The model number is always on the left hand side, followed by the sizing. As you can see once again, the left has the, the replicas have the model number on the right hand side and the control manufacturer and the Gucci on the left hand side, right? 
Meanwhile, the Authentic have the Gucci and the Control Manufacturer on the right hand side. And the country, the, the model number of the, the glass you're holding is on the left hand side. Another thing to look out for is um, the model number, right? On any Gucci pair of glasses, I mean any, if you Google the, number, the model number, it should come up with the exact model of the glasses you're holding. Not only that, it usually also has um, an, an extension because um, what Gucci does is they usually release um, different colors of the same model. So, for instance, this model number is GG106S. The replica has got, got the model correct. It is 106S. And if um, 106, they left out the S in the, in the replica, right? But if you Google this, um, this pair of glasses, just GG106, it's going to come up with this model, but it will show you different colors. The Authentic always has GG106S followed by a 007 or a 010 or something like that. It's it's the GG106S followed by three digits that will give you the make you that will make the the model number and the the exact model and color of the glasses you are googling pop up on your Google search, right? Another thing to watch out for, which is um very very easy to overlook, is People always think um, Gucci is always made in Italy or France or some, you know, something somewhere exotic. When they see Japan, they're like, oh my gosh, Gucci in Japan? Are you serious? Made in Japan? Are you? I made the same mistake because um, I remember the first time I went to a sunglass hut and I and I bought, I was looking at the glasses and I saw made in Japan. I was like, what? Are you guys selling replicas and sunglasses? Well, but no. After I did further research and I went to the Gucci store, I found out that some Gucci models are made in Japan. Right? It depends. So when you go on the Gucci site and you search, um, you go on the uh, accessories, eyewear, you know, click it. When you click each glass, each sunglass, the model number down in the description the model number and the country of manufacture will be in the description and i also um want to say that um, not all of them it's um not all of them is accurate because some some gucci models have been re-released re re multiple times right so some models have been released 2016 2018 2020 right but the 2016 model might have been made in Japan. I mean, might have been made in Italy. But now the 2022 model is made in Japan. So you see what I'm saying? So maybe that's not the most accurate tell. But if you go on the Gucci side most of the time, if the sunglasses are still up on the side, they'll tell you where the glasses were made. Another thing to watch out for, again, is how the glass flows, closes, right? Do you see how fickle the handles are? This is a new replica, mind you, and it's already having um, you know, it's a very, very it's a fingerprint magnet. Right. But I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give them one thing is like if when it's on the face of someone, you won't be able to tell for the most part. You have to be really looking. To, to oh that's where Africa you know but if you're not it's basically the same and if you didn't have the authentic pair right here it's very easy to believe that this was an authentic pair so let's get into the um, the accessories that normally come with the Gucci sunglasses when you buy the Gucci sunglasses from the store it comes with two accessories right other than the shopping bag it comes with the um, the Gucci dust bag which is a nice silk carrying pouch for your glasses, right? 
So most of the time in the store, this is how it comes in the store. Is the case goes inside the inside the dust bag, right? And usually the glasses are inside. And then it comes with a cleaning cloth with Gucci within on it. Right? But look at the replica, right? It comes with the same, I'm telling you, um, uh, kudos to them. The replicas are really, really, um, wow. Yeah, they look a lot like the authentic pair. And you can see why some people um, will go, I mean, I understand not everyone is in the same financial, financial situation, right? Some people don't have the money to spend, you know, five hundred dollars, six hundred, even eight hundred. Sometimes a thousand dollars on a pair of sunglasses. Sometimes, right? But they still want to, you know. Now people are going for like, oh, the brand. Some people just like the way the glasses look. And if you can't spend a thousand dollars, why spend a thousand dollars when you can just pay a hundred bucks, right? So I understand why some people would do that, and I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to inform the people. Who uh, actively looking to buy authentic pairs, what to look out for. So, comes, also comes with the sick. Let, let's um, let's do a quick differentiation between the the replica and the. So as you can see, I mean it's not really different, man. I'm not going to be lying to you. You can tell the authentic is is um, it's more. Um, attention to detail, it's a little bit darker, it's a little bit um, softer, nah, not really, but I won't, I won't say you should go, you should start, um, I won't recommend you trying to decipher if it's authentic or not based off of the carrying bags, because like I said, um, you know, yeah, but on the other hand, the cases though, that's something you can work with, right? And also, you can see this, um, this is the cleaning cloth, the, the replicas came in, right? It came with, it just says the big Gucci, it's kind of, um, well, you know, it's just to clean the cloth, but I ain't gonna say anything about that, but, um, and this is what, this is how the authentic ones look like, right? But the case, now, this is interesting, this way you can, a little bit of a difference right let's close it first so you can see i don't know if the camera will be able to show um the differences between so this is more hollow right it feels more hollow this is more on hand this is lighter but not noticeably lighter it's it's like I'm, it's because I'm actively looking to see if it's lighter, so I don't think you go for the weight too. What I think you should go off of is the inside, right? You see how the authentic has the Gucci. It's like it's the the color of the case, but the inside you can see the silk. Meanwhile, the replicas. You can see, I, I, I ordered this about, um, I got this in yesterday, and you can already see that, you know, but see the authentic. So I think that's something you can go off of also to decipher replica versus um, authentic. But yeah, guys, um, like I said, uh, it's not the... The replicas have gotten really good in recent years. They have been um it's it's actually very shocking. Very, very shocking. Because like I said, if you had these two side by side, not side by side, if you had these two on somebody's face, those two people are sitting one left, one to your right, and they're wearing these two, you won't really be able to tell. Like unless you're actively looking, you won't be able to tell. And you know, I don't think everyone is like a you know, authentic police where it's like, oh, let me see your glasses. Let me, oh, is this authentic? Uh, where'd you get it from? No. So, you know, but um, if you're someone who really, really cares about if the glasses 
or the products who are authentic um these are just some uh, a few tips to help you you know decipher whether your glasses are authentic or not the first thing we went over was the lenses right the gucci on the lenses it's always it's kind of spaced out and it's kind of a curve right the gucci versus and it's always on the top right top sorry on the top left corner of the glasses meanwhile the replica has the gucci on the top right hand of the glasses next thing we went over was the eyelets the authentic has the gucci emblem right it's the gucci emblem not gucci written on it and this so this sometimes does not seen between these two glasses right now right you can see this is the replica and the replica on the in the end of the the legs the authentic has a kind of brown finish to it while the replica has a black i'm 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 very sure this isn't in all glasses but this is just in this case you know next to renova the country of manufacture is always on the right hand side and it's not always italy gucci is made in japan gucci is made in italy right so you can see this model is made in in japan and if you if you google this model if you google the 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 model number of the glasses is always on the left hand side left hand side and it's not just the model number it's always followed up by three digits to um differentiate the color so that when you google this model number and this um three numbers together the exact model and color of the glasses pop up right and then like i said just this something to look out for you can see this is kind of flimsy but you know whatever and this is you know and even the weight guys the weight is this is very similar so i mean if you're someone looking to save money i guess you know we don't judge over here do what you have to do you know no one is judging you know Every, like i said everyone is in the is in a different financial situation i might not be it might not be the smartest thing for someone to spend one thousand dollars on a pair of glasses or even 500 in the current financial situation that they're in so a hundred bucks for a replica i mean can be the price but just watch out just know that um the authentic is always the authentic as you can see the attention to detail and the authentic is just way you know but yeah guys just a, a few things for you to look out for when you're trying to um detect if the pair of glasses you're buying is authentic or a replica and i want to also do i'm going to be doing like i said earlier in the video i'm going to be doing a louis vuitton versace um tom ford dior ray-ban balenciaga i'm going to be doing different um different brands i'm going to do not only different brands but different models of different brands too because like this is like um kind of like a metal model of the gucci sunglasses the plastic models would definitely be different too and there'll be, th there'll be some things to um watch out for so um yeah guys i'm going to end the video right now um but thank you thank you for um listening this far and please if you found the video um helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content because i plan to do not only just um authentic versus replica reviews i plan to do um reviews of um you know um authentic items unbox them to tell you what you're supposed to get you know not only glasses i'm gonna do um t-shirts expensive t-shirts um you know 
Gucci t-shirts, Balenciaga t-shirts, Dior t-shirts, hoodies, sandals, slides, you know. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for um, watching so far. And yeah, this is my first video where I'm like recording and actively talking at the same time. So you can tell by my voice, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, but um, I guess we got through it and hopefully, not hopefully, I know I'm going to get better with time. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day.